My name is Rachel Berwick. I'm an artist from Connecticut, and I am showing two pieces in this exhibition um, in the Singing in the Silence. And uh, one is titled Zugenru, and the other is Blue Shift. Zugenru comes from the German term to describe um, the restlessness that migratory birds display prior to migration. I was also very interested in the passenger pigeon because it's a species that's indigenous to North America but went extinct in the early 1900s. It was a bird that f used to fly in flocks of millions and it was famous for these migrations and I just to try to envision those migrations where birds would be <laughs> approaching and passing over for three days at a time. It's really hard to imagine actually. So I um, was combining this idea of Zugenru with uh, the passenger pigeon and decided to do this piece where I cast off of a passenger pigeon, um, a taxidermy passenger pigeon specimen, and then made hundreds of these casts in amber of uh, the passenger pigeon, and then created this tree, placed within what's a, essentially a mirrored box. So you can look into it, but as you walk around it, what happens is that it's lit so that the birds and the tree multiply in reflection. And so you kind of gain and lose this perspective of some, the, this transformation of the tree from one single tree to maybe 200 birds to several trees or a forest under a migration. At the same time, what I was thinking about were the bluebirds that, that interested me, and the indigo bunting is one that's really this striking blue, a structural blue. It's a structural color, not a pigmented color. And in maybe layman's terms, what it is is light scattering. Light scattering um, is what makes the sky blue. And then when I discovered that glass can also make light scattering to make blue, I just love this idea that they share this ability to make structural blue. The pieces themselves that you see in the show today are both large spheres, about 20 inches in diameter, smooth on the outside, but on the inside what I've done is to cast off of songbird bodies um, to make sort of negative impressions of songbirds through uh, all the way around. Um, but the way they read is almost like a topographic map. And in one it's a very kind of light blue and I call that the day sky. And the other one is a much darker blue, which is the night sky. And um, so in the day sky, of course, it's much easier to see these impressions and to see the highs and lows of the birds where they're closer and farther away from the surface of the sphere. And the darker one, what really happens in the, in the places where the birds are deeper is that you lose, lose the birds into the, into the dark. And it's the, the dark is a dark blue that almost goes black. So there's kind of the finding and the losing of them.